Hello there. I'd like to introduce myself, Ron Chirwood, over here at Countryside Kennel. We got Irene Pippen around over here. Uh, we're going to be looking at a litter of puppy that was born on the uh, 10th month, 16th day, uh, 2017. Uh, ended up having five males and two females. What we're looking at first is the two females. We're going to be talking about how much white they got, the body color, the size, the tail, and the energy level. We are going to be talking a little bit about a hernia. Every now and then you get a puppy with a hernia. I tell you, like I told you before, my veterinarian says there's a chance of not coming out of anesthesia. There's a greater chance than this hernia uh, give you any trouble. Now, I mean, I know a lot of these dogs have hernia. A lot of these puppies do. Uh, I think it's a, you know me and the best talked about it. And a lot of a lot of licking that the females do. I have never, and I've many, many years ago, and I still do it to this day, it doesn't influence me one way or the other. If I got a hernia on a puppy, because again, before the year bank, I never seen one that hasn't yet mended itself. Mm -hmm. So if you do insist on getting it fixed, then wait till you get ready to castrate or spray the dog, and usually that charge an additional 20 bucks to put the stitch in. Mm -hmm. so that's entirely up to you all. Mm -hmm. At least do it when they're older. But we have never, ever had a dog with a problem because of a hernia. All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about white. We're grading them in one, two, and three. I got this as a one, even though it's brighter in the camera than it is uh, by your eye. This dog again, they, uh, Lucy is the, the dam. Okay. And the, and the uh, sire of the dog, the new dog that we actually uh, been doing real well, took second at the BCA Nationals, uh, done a real nice job, won several big hunts. Trials. The name was Gunner. First place at the Central U.S. Classic. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but Gunner is a real nice young dog. We're just breaking him in. Now we're trying to see what he can do. So far, I've been very impressed. Seems like a lot of natural uh, retrieve to his puppies. Uh, I know most of the puppies enjoy the retrieving, and that's something genetically we got to keep in mind. <laughs> something physically we got to keep in mind. Not that the puppy jump off the table. <laughs> 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 Not a good thing. But this is a female. It doesn't, you see the white, the little body color. Again, body color. We got it down here as a two. The, you know, not real dark, but, but far plenty dark. Yeah. Okay. And that so, stripe is where you're going to see the adult color. The, the sides are kind of the puppy fuzz. Yeah, we don't have much really light colored dogs anymore. Uh, not, I don't have enough against them, but we don't have that many. So what we say two, that allowed to be three in most people's books. As far as when I grade like one, two, and three, Three means, like for example, in color, that means it's really dark. When I say two, for example, size, that means just an average size. I say three in a tail, like I will with this dog. It's got a high tail, really nice energy level. We start them off at a five. Uh, I very seldom have a five, usually between a six to eight range. And that's what really everybody wants. They sell, they, they, uh, they can do everything with them. Really nice. This little dog is six energy level. Uh, you can do whatever you wish to do with a hunt, pet. Uh, this got a nice energy level, just a real nice dog. All right, chip number four, four, three, five, red, gray, three, five, seven, five, gray. Let's set him up first. Set her up. And we talk a little bit. These puppies are ready to go home in nine weeks. Would be the the twelfth month, eighteenth day. No. He wants to cuddle, I mean. <laughs> he wants no, to be up in your arms. She wants my nose. She wants my nose. She wants Go ahead, nose. let's look at the color. Give him a chance to settle the, down a little bit. A little white, just a hair. I call it less than a one. And this mm -hmm. little speck little here, I call it 0.5 on the chest. You do have a little white on the toes. Totally permissible until they get above the ankle. That's totally permissible. Uh, is there everybody's beast that looks alike? So <laughs> this is one, maybe a little bit more white. You tell the difference. But anyway, it is three in color. Very dark Calm on the down. color. All right, a little There's bit bigger the size, two, 2.5. Mm -hmm. And uh, three on the tail, beautiful tail. When you put it down, it looks like I already have a trouble trying to show you that, but it does have a beautiful tail. Now, let me have the tail. You can worry about the tail. Ain't much to worry about. She does it herself. Yeah, she's kind of got a, a little bit higher energy level than the other one. Just right now, she's, she's never been up here. But look how brave she is. I look for this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, the six, seven, I got her. I got her closer to the seven. Good okay. girl. Okay. Um. Again, the litter is born on the 10th, 16th, 2017. They're ready to go home in nine weeks on the 12th, 18th, 2007. Lucy. 
Brenda Gunner, Lucy is a real fine female that we've got. Uh, my daughter's actually got a liver make too, this one. Uh, just really a nice, solid female. Uh, it's really, it's all of our females, hips and nails have been tested. Nothing below a, a good. Uh, they're excellent or good. Mm -hmm. But as far as, I want to watch for your tree, let them have a little bit, all right? Okay. And yeah, just let them have. I know normally I'd say not to, but watch how they get into it, and they really want to take off with. They're just real natural when you play with them. They just that's all about that retrieving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's all right. Normally I don't play take a war enough with them, but in this case, get them back. There you go. In this case, though, they they got a lot of natural retrieve, and there's really a lot of instinct, bird instinct to them. I turned the pigeon loose in the in the building here. I got a 30 by 30 area where I let the dogs play. And uh, just turned the birds loose, and I'm going to tell you, they were a bunch of quaint puppies. Oops. I'm really proud of all the puppies when it comes to the tails, when it comes to the overall, uh, you know, what I call the presentation. As you can see, these dogs move with the tails in the air. Uh, both of these dogs, uh, the Dan and the Sire, have contributed a lot to our genetics. Puppy, 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 puppy. Puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy. You want to try to flip her, Irene? Can you do that? I will try. Mm -hmm. Come here, puppy girl. Ooh. Okay. Pretty dang good. It's pretty quiet without the <laughs> sister sitting there trying to eat her. <laughs> we'll see how right. sister. Come here. They're getting to be just a little bit too big for this, but there you go. Well, like I said, I still really, submissive. That's really trainability. Right and even though she's <laughs> acting, that's trainability. That's good. That's really, good really girl. good. Nice good job. So both real nice dogs, These little more of a leader, a little more free interest. independence, yeah, is going to be the uh, blue collar. Right. And one that's going to cling to you just a little bit closer is going to be the red collar. Well, what's that mean? Let's say you've got three kids and you guys are pretty active and that would be one I'd look at him. Let's say you've got one kid and, and maybe uh, not, you know, this is the lower end of the six, this other one is the upper end of the seven. But this, you know, they, and what's nice about the business is well, some people like to roll low in, but there's someone set around the house, the other people want something to go out there and run with all three of kids and themselves. Mm -hmm. and so, the, and, and the areas that I've seen this in is a six, eight range, and, and just about our whole litters anymore are in that area. Of course, after doing it for quite a few years, we pretty well got this figured out. We did a lot of line breeding, in breeding. Uh, but as far as we pretty well got it figured out genetically wise, uh, Denise and I both bring the genetics pretty heavily. <laughs> Doesn't matter how active they are, they still love the love. And even our guy, who's a 10 10, when uh, he's done with running his field trial, he's sleeping with Brian in his, in his RV. So they all have the Velcro V slip. Absolutely. We've kept that totally in mind. Our, our market, 80% of the market, is pets. And quote, maybe the, the pets will do a little bit of hunting on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And you know, less than the other 12%, I would say, are runners. People that actually use them for running. That was the primary purpose. Mm -hmm. And then the, I would say maybe seven to eight percent. But these are people that are actually like myself for field trials, hunt tests, and that was the main focus on getting them for these particular dogs. Well, thanks so much for watching our video. And if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you. Please watch both videos too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lots of information shared on both videos, so might be one on one video, not on the other. So take a good listen. Take care. Bye.